back in 1802 when I was a freshman in the university. This is one of the questions my physics professor gave me to help us understand how to set problems up using dimensional analysis. A snail travels 2.3 centimeters in one hour. What is the snail's speed in furlongs per fortnight? It's a great question to help understand how to set problems up. We know because our snail traveled 2.30 centimeters in one hour that the speed of our snail is, in fact, 2.30 centimeters per hour. And I can write it down like that. The units of measurement that we're using is a length dimension, centimeters, and a time dimension, the hour. And we're going to convert that to furlongs. I'll use FL for furlong and FN for fortnight. So it's furlongs per fortnight. So that's the conversion we're going to make. We're going to start out by setting up the problem initially using the given value and its unit, which is 2.30 centimeters per hour. So we set it up like this. 2.30 centimeters per hour. And I'm going to multiply that by a conversion factor. I know that. So I can set the first step up just like this. Always, without fail, it always works like this. I'm going to work with one of these units first. And I like to work with the length unit first, but you could certainly work with the time unit first, the hour. But I'm going to work with the length unit first. And our length unit is a centimeter. If I want to factor out that centimeter, I want to get rid of it because I want to go from centimeters to furlongs. That's the length unit in the English system. By the way, if you don't know what a furlong is, it's simply a length equal to 220 yards. It's commonly used in horse racing. A fortnight is two weeks. Not very commonly used but we're going to use it for this problem anyway. So we have 2.30 centimeters per hour. I'm going to factor out the centimeter and go to some unit that is in the English system of measurement. So the conversion factor here is going to bridge between the metric system, where I'm going to have centimeters, and the English system of measurement. And I'm going to take this to inches. Why? I picked that is simply because it's one of the conversion factors that I know, I remember. There is 2.54 centimeters per inch. It's a conversion factor that almost every physics student understands. If I wanted to, I could go from directly from centimeters to uh, yards, but I have no idea how many centimeters are in a yard, and as a matter of fact, I really don't care. It just adds a few more steps if I start with centimeters and go to inches. Anyway, this conversion factor, this first one I'm gonna, that I'm going to use, bridges between the metric system and the English system. So I'm going to set this up without putting any numbers into this initially. I'm going to set it up with the, with the uh, conversion factors just using the units, and I'm going to go through it and make sure everything is going to factor out properly before I put the numbers in it just to show you how it works. So I'm going to go from centimeters to inches. Now remember, I'm heading towards furlongs, hopefully. And I'm going to go from inches. Now I put that underneath this division line because I want it to factor out. So I'm going to go from inches to yards. And I can go from yards to furlongs because I know how many yards there are in a furlong. Now that finishes the work that we're going to do with the length dimension centimeter. That should convert centimeters to furlongs. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work with the time dimension. And the time dimension, the unit is the hour, so it's below this division line. So in order to factor it out, I'm going to put it above a division line over here. So I'm going to put hours up there. Now, I want hours to go to fortnights, which is two weeks. So that's the direction I'm heading. So first of all, I'm going to convert hours to about days. 
I know how many hours are in a day, and I'm not going to be precise. I'm just going to say there's 24 hours in a day. I know it's a little, it's not exactly that, but that's what I'm going to use. Then I'm going to I'm going to convert days to weeks, and then I'm going to convert weeks to fortnights, just like that. And if I go down through here, I can see that everything is going to factor out perfectly. Centimeters factors out, inches is going to factor out, yards is going to factor out, furlongs does not. We know that hours factors out, days factors out, weeks factors out, and fortnights does not. So I have the problem set up, other than the fact that I haven't put any numbers in here yet. Well, let's go ahead and do that. I know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. I know that uh, one yard is equal to 36 inches. I know that one furlong is equal to 220 yards. I know that one hour, I know that one day is equal to 24 hours. I know that one week is equal to seven days. And I know that one fortnight is equal to two weeks. So if everything is correct there and I work this out, we should get the correct answer. So here's my calculator. I'm going to go ahead and put these numbers in here and see how we do. So I'm going to go 2.30 divided by 2.54 divided by 36 divided by 220 and I'm going to hit equals right there and I'm going to say times 24 times 7 times 2 equals and it looks like our answer is 0 0.038 and since we have really we have three significant digits here I can go 0 0.038 and that's going to be watch carefully here furlongs per fortnight those are the only two units that didn't factor out furlongs per fortnight so that's our answer furlongs per fortnight so the speed of our snail is 0 0.038 furlongs per fortnight there's your answer found using dimensional analysis just like magic